All right, it's time for Seen and Unseen, where we expose the big cultural stories of the day. All the lamestream media is peddling Melania conspiracy theories, why late night comedy is dead, and musicians versus politicians. Is that a softball game? All right, joining us now, all the details, Raymond Arroyo, Fox News contributor, New York Times best-selling author, brand new book, Will Wilder, The Amulet of Power. Mm -hmm. All right, Raymond, why are the gals at The View spreading conspiracy theories about the first lady. Can Laura, she take any more abuse well, well, by these people? This one is really unbelievable. Over the weekend, the president and the first lady toured Alabama to console victims of those terrible tornadoes. They took dozens of lives. Stories started spreading on the internet, claiming that this was not Melania at the president's side, but a body double. <laughs> Joy Behar and the ladies of The View cleared it up this way. That one does not look like her. Sorry. I wasn't going to go along with this, but that one in that picture doesn't look I know. like her. You weren't going to go, now you will. No, it's a different shaped face. Oh. You know, I spent like an, I, I, I'm ashamed to say, I, I spent like an hour on, on Saturday <laughs> involved her. in this. That's her. Melania is no. a very tall, statuesque woman. And the one that we saw, uh, the first one that we showed, oh. she's, she looks kind of short. When there's a rumor like this and memes all over the place, I think it catches on because there's an element of truth to the idea that she doesn't want to spend time with him. Okay, and let me just say, Joy, I haven't been on The View in a long time. I haven't been on The View in a long time. Invite me on. We'll do, we'll do a little yeah. comparison but of photos. An element of truth. truth. An what? Ele what is the element of truth except your own ideology, where there's obviously a bias against this oh, first you're, lady? Oh, you're kidding. Stephanie Grisham, the, the first lady spokesman, came out and said this is shameless, particularly when they were there to console victims of a, a terrible tragedy. And it was a beautiful, the first they trashed Trump for signing Bibles. Signing the Bibles, because people which we're going to get into on Fox Nation. Oh, we're going to get into on Fox Nation, yeah. good, because I wanted to talk about that. Right. But the other thing about this is I, I can't believe they promo their next segment, I guess tomorrow, mm -hmm. on the fact that we really didn't land on the moon. <laughs> that's was, coming up. Yeah, that's the, that's the, the moon landing but, was faked, but too. Now, now, Laura, I heard on the internet that Joy Behar occasionally employs a body double. Look at that. <laughs> now, look, I, I'm sure, I'm sure that only has an element of the truth to it. We'll leave it there. Oh, man. Dustin Hoffman's going to get royalties on that one. <laughs> Speaking of comedians, there is a related story. Jay Leno, <laughs> I'm oh sorry, God. Joy. Jay Leno was on the Today Show. You opened yourself up to it. And Jay was talking this week about whether he missed late night TV. His answer was telling. I don't miss it. You know, uh, Everything now is, if people don't like your politics, they, everyone has to know your politics. Well, now it's all very serious. It's, it, everything is just so, so now. I just like to see a bit of civility yeah. come back to it, you know. In all the comics, Jimmy and, and Colbert and everybody else, it, it, it's tough when, yeah. when, when that's, when that's the only topic everything. out there. Yeah. They've made it about this, Laura. They've made it all about politics, and the audience is fleeing from them. This is why the, the overall audience is way down from when Jay Leno or, God forbid, Johnny Carson was presiding over The Tonight Show. It is a ruin, and I think it's because not only has the comedy, as Jay said, gotten nasty and petty and very political. And unfunny. Well, it's and not funny. This is, the, this is the cardinal sin. It's not funny, and it's the very thing comedy should teach us what we have in common and have us laugh together. At each other, too. Rather, it accentuates the things that divide well, Carson, us and half the audience runs yeah, away. Carson said this years ago, right. when he, he, before he died, he said, I never thought it, I, I should spout off about politics. I'm here to make people laugh. Right. I'm here to entertain them. Shut up and make us laugh. Make us laugh, yeah. All right, well, Joy Behar <laughs> actually makes our point, or Jay Leno's point, mm -hmm. about this. She said this today. I did stand up up until Obama came in, and then I was losing interest because he was too good. And there was nothing to make fun of there. Yeah, With right. Bush, it was a bonanza. Uh, uh, she, there it is. She, she loved Obama, but B Bush and Trump are a cornucopia. <laughs> this is, I'm sorry, there's plenty of, of humor to have on both sides. A good comedian should make How all of those points. about parenting? Dating, uh, uh, all sorts of things about life. Foibles of plenty. So, uh, uh, Jerry Seinfeld can make us laugh about the socks and the dryer. By the uh, way, why do we always two, have one sock? Who are sock? the three most popular uh, comedians out there? Kevin Seinfeld. Hart, Seinfeld, and Jay Leno. Laura, Bingo. a battle has been brewing since the Reagan administration between musicians and politicians about using songs for political rallies. You know, the songs that become anthems for a campaign like these. There ain't no doubt I love this land.
Elizabeth Warren has run into some hot water for using that Dolly Parton hit. Apparently, her spokesman said, her, par her manager, we did not approve the request and we do not approve requests like this of a political nature. Now, Laura, the law on this is kind of dodgy. Remember, Bruce Springsteen went after Ronald Reagan. Tom Petty went after George Bush for using their songs. The law is if a venue has the music rights, ASCAP the, the ASCAP rights. broadcast, you know, performance rights, they can play it in the arena. But if it's broadcast, the, ah. the musician has some publicity rights because they say this looks like a false endorsement. I got and it. that's where you get into some problems. Okay. But many of Queen, REM, Adele, the Stones, they've all sent cease and desist letters to Donald Trump. He hasn't stopped using the song. <laughs> what, what's the enforcement mechanism? I still don't get you can't always get what you want, but you get what you need. I don't either. I, why why that is that song? the anthem? I Come don't on. understand. I hope Take, you pick something I else. I mean, for Bush is taking care of business. We gotta go back to Bachman Turner Overdrive in 1974 to get that music. Pick somebody dead. That's the All answer. Right, dead Pick people. a dead